What's good with this Chico builds, you feel me? And this time, this time I slammed this sucker. Yes, sir. I'm out of breath right now. Been working, testing out the tires, and you know, you feel me? Just ran a marathon, so. Sheesh. But I got these new Koenigs. Ooh, what a steal, bro, on some. I don't even know what tires, on some Bridgestone tires. This fool, I guess, was tracking it with this MR2. But he blew his motor, so he gave it to me for the low, bro. Got lucky. But we got to do something about this, bro. We got to do something about that. <laughs> Sheesh! What is this? What is this fitment, bro? Oh, man. going to get me mad, bro. You feel me? So right now, what I'm going to do is slap these suckers on. Max speeding rod hooked it up with some new coilovers. Ooh. And they look tasty, bro. Got them in red, because you know the deal. No, I'm just playing. I wanted them in blue, but they ran out of blue, so I got red. But it's all good, it's all good. Let's get started, though. Lift this sucker up, put her on jack stands so we could get going. <sighs> I might get too tired right now, but we'll see what happens. Let's hit it. Okay, after you're done taking off the tire, you're gonna wanna go back here and break loose the bottom shock mount bolt. It's held on by a 17. And now, after we loosen that ball up right there, we're gonna move on right here to the end lane, which is held on by a um, 14. So we're gonna loosen that sucker up, take her off. All right, so the back is held on basically by um, another little nut right here and a washer, so like this don't lose this don't lose this all right let's get it after you're all done with that we're gonna go up here you're gonna take your extended clip 14 you feel me take off these two bolts right here holding on the coil over okay boys this is the hard part okay well to make this easy we're gonna have to do something hard and that is taking off this long bolt right here, connecting the upper control arm. And to do that, it's gonna be connected by uh, 21, I believe, on each side. And it is a B to take out, bro, let me tell you that. We're gonna have to basically uh, loosen up this bolt back here, which is connecting the sway bar. We will not have to take it off all the way, just loosen it. And we're gonna have to take off all this plastic right here uh, to just move it out of the way. So let's do that. All right, now we got that sucker hanging. So we're gonna take this bolt right here, loosen it up, and it's held on by a 12. It's connecting the sway bar. We don't have to take it off, but we do have to loosen the sucker up. So let's loosen her up. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna take this bad boy off right here, and it's held on by a 21 on each side. Held on by a small washer and a big washer, boys, so don't lose that. You're gonna wanna jack up the car a little bit because once you take off that long ball, the whole thing is gonna drop. Okay, so I gotta lift it up and now we're gonna take this bolt out and see if. I don't think it's gonna wanna come out. We shall see if it wants to do this the easy way or the hard way, huh, boys? So, let's find out today. No way. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yo, <laughs> no way, man. Oh my God. Okay, so I literally took like, I don't know, like, probably like three hours or something, trying to take this out last time. But for some reason for the YouTube video, it wants to, it wants to, you feel me? Treat me right. So I'm happy about that. Because, bro, <laughs> this bolt is hard to take out, bro. Let me tell you that. Jeez, I got a dummy left on this side. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This ball right here is a B. But today, for the YouTube video's sake, it is a sexy B. Okay, I'm so happy right now, bro. Basically, right now, we're just going to take off that bolt right there so we can drop this sucker. And once you drop this sucker, we can take that uh, old, you feel me, stock suspension out. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, Max, speeding rods. Let's see what you're made out of. This thing looks sexy, so let's see what's good. To put it back in, we're gonna, you know, line it up first, of course. And then, once we line it up, we could jack it up to basically uh, line it up, up on the top. I forgot to take these little suckers off, bruh. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna basically put it in the same way. All right, so basically once you got this lined up right here, the control arm, and you got this bolt in right here on the bottom, you're gonna wanna jack it up so you could uh, line it up basically with the holes. There we go. Okay, before putting this big boy back into the control arm, you're gonna wanna put these two little boys up here and make sure your coil over is all snug you feel me tighten these suckers a little bit with the 14. all right now we're gonna stick this bad boy back in there yes sir it's very long so you're gonna have to go from back here and this right here goes in of course so don't forget about the washer something can handle oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. now for this side it has two washers it goes like this so that the bolt could go in like this of course you guys saw how it goes so let's do that <clears throat> all right now we're gonna time this sucker up <clears throat> oh, God. all right so now let's get the end length back on and then get this bolt right here last part so here's a bolt other bolt washer silver side right here to ugga uggas you feel me now let's put these on, the washer. <clears throat> All right, anyways, don't forget to tighten up this bolt over here, connecting the sway bar that we loosened to take this bolt out. It is a uh, 12, I think. Let's tighten that up. Slap this back on. All right, and now we drop this sucker and see what we're dealing with here. All righty, all righty. Let me go do the other side real quick because it's getting dark. 
so we could drop this sucker and see about the front and i think i'll do the back tomorrow and show you guys how to do it it's way easier than the front so now we got the hard part well i'm about to finish the hard part so we can see what's good with it let's do it sheesh okay it's day two we got my friends done last night yes sir so now we're gonna move on to the back that is dirty boys all right this side is going to be way easier it's basically the same thing but we won't have to worry about this top control arm all that we just have to loosen up five bolts which is this one right here is number one two three and then the two top ones on the top of this so yeah let's get it basically first off we're going to loosen this one and it's a 17 so let's do that now we gotta loosen up this 14 right here on the end link And now we're gonna get the top one right here. <laughs> All right, I had to take out the extended clip on this one, bro. Got the sucker off. Now, we lift this. Okay. Once you lift the sucker up right here, we're gonna go back here basically take this off it's held on by 10 millimeters so we get to the uh, top of the strut and take off the two mountain bolts so let's do that okay it's a little hard to see back there they were basically gonna take off one two these two bolts not the middle one and they're held on by 14s that you guys was the best possible angle I could give you guys this little sucker off back here and i gotta take this one off you see it all right i'm gonna get it okay now that we got both these little suckers out we're gonna get the last bolt out which was this bolt right here that we loosened up tell them by 17 and once you get this bolt out we can go ahead and drop drop this and then take this off so let's do it yes sir Jeez. All right, now let's drop this jack so we can take out this OEM strut, you feel me? All right, once you got that sucker out, you go ahead and put the sucker in. I'm gonna jack it up and line it up. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a little close up of what I'm doing. Right here and right here, I'm basically lining up the holes and then jacking it off, jacking it up. My bad. Yeah, and then now we got it inside. All right, so now we're gonna put these suckers in. Took off my gloves. Drop this sucker a little bit. So we can stick this sucker in here. After you got that sucker tightened, we're gonna lift it up a little bit so we can put the sucker back in the end link and go ahead and tighten that one too. Drop this sucker now and go ahead and put the tire back on. And sheesh! Yes, sir. Just gave her a wash and we all done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking crisp. Max Speeding Ross came in clutch today. The back I left a little high. I think I could go down a little bit more though, but you can go down that much. That's the only thing that suck basically. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. So this car, I would have went lower. 
you definitely go lower in the front too but it's my uh daily and my work car because you feel me i got my baby over there so if i slam this sucker i'm gonna be driving two unreliable cars man we can't have that because i'm gonna need this baby tomorrow I'm gonna be working in the a.m you feel me so i need a reliable reliable car with um with a good suspension good coilovers and max beam rods came in clutch definitely thank you guys thank you but yeah if you guys like this video though go ahead and like and subscribe uh follow me on uh tiktok n54 chico follow my other tiktok chico builds and go ahead and follow my new instagram chico raps i'm trying to get to rap and you feel me and go ahead and check out those videos. I'm gonna be posting one more rap video after this. And then see what other car I get. I'm gonna get, a, I want a 240 bad, bro, but they're skyrocketing right now. So I might just get another Miata because Miatas are fun, but I might get another one just to like F around in, you feel me? But we shall see. See you guys next time.